I get this question over and over again. Smash, how do I set up my Wavelink so that I can stream my console games so that my audience and I can hear the video game, but I also can hear the alerts when people follow or subscribe? Well, it's super easy and let me show you how. Since you're using the Wavelink software, that means you're streaming your console into your PC. That means you're gonna need a device like this. This is an external capture device and there's lots of them out there, both external and internal. Now this is one of my favorites. This is a StarTech UVCHDCAP. Oof, that's a mouthful. Now, what a capture device does, it allows you to plug your console into one end via HDMI and then the other HDMI out to your monitor. But it also has a USB port. That USB port goes into your PC and that's how it captures the audio and video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug my Nintendo Switch console into this device. Then I'm gonna plug this device into my PC. Let's go. First, I'm gonna plug the HDMI coming from my console into the HDMI in. Next, I'm gonna plug the HDMI cable coming from my TV to the HDMI out. Finally, I'm gonna plug the USB cable into the box and the other end into the PC. Now we're gonna make sure that our PC sees the device so that we can set up our video and audio in OBS and Wavelink. Under Manage Sound Devices, we're gonna scroll down. Under Input Devices, we can see that it detected our device, the UBC HDCAP. Now let's go into Wavelink and set up that input. In one of the open channels, click the plus button and then select the audio interface for your device. Mine is right here at the bottom, the UBC HDCAP. We've now added that as an input and we can direct that audio to our headphones or our stream. Now I'm gonna put my switch into the docking station and turn it on. We can see that Wavelink is now picking up the audio from that console through that device. We can even adjust the volume up or down. The only thing left to do is to add that device as a video source in our OBS. That's it. Now you and your audience should be able to hear all the game sounds and all of the alert sounds coming from your OBS and Twitch. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna get back to my game.